Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be choosing my sticker kit lineup for the summer and to store my kits I have them in these Avery binders with these planner Kate tabs. So as you can see this is all of the summer so June, July, and August and I use these, um, what are these called? Protectors as to hold the kits then I make these stickers myself with the date of that Monday but if it's a special holiday or reason or whatever I have the actual words out so I know what kind of theme I want to use for that um, week. So I as you can see I am doing the whole month this is kind of like a tentative plan to see what stickers or kits I need or want to buy and then what I also have room for. So I'll go ahead and link my sticker kit lineup playlist up in the cards above if you're interested because I do these once a season and then I also do a more detailed one as the months come up and in those months is when I go into detail about the kits as well as picking out any foil items that I need. For the summer or for the seasonal sticker kit lineups, I, all I do is just pick out the kits. Uh, I don't really go into detail that much. So let's go ahead and get started with June. So actually the summer is pretty much booked. Like I'll do a quick flip through just to see everything and then I'll show you where I keep my stickers or my kits that aren't assigned to a week yet. So for each month I have this divider with any like Erin Condren themed color coordinated stickers. And then I have these Planner Kate sheets. So these um, washi strips followed by some uh, pencil stickers. So here this first week is May 30th, which it originally, or it still, I mean, still is uh, Donut Day. Falls on, I think, National Donut Day, International Donut Day, I'm not sure. Falls sometime during this week. I believe it's the first Friday in June. But I decided to just use a generic summer-themed kit instead of a donut-themed kit, which I actually did last year. So that Monday is May 30th. The next week is World Oceans Day, so I already have some stickers chosen for that. The following week is my best friend's bachelorette party, so again, I already have a sticker kit for that. Followed by Father's Day, which already has something. The 4th of July, a uh, friend's wedding, summer, July 18th, which will need a sticker kit, so that's the second one so far. Harry Potter's birthday. And then moving on to August, we have another wedding, the third empty week, fourth empty week. If I did my math right, I'm not sure I might have missed one. And then this week, which is still empty, I don't have a kit for it yet, but I am going to Spokane that week for a conference. So I think I want to try to find a Pacific Northwest themed kit or at least like a fisheries themed kit. And if not, I'll just use a generic summer one, but I'm going to leave this one blank for now. Okay, so that's kind of an overview of what I have so far. And then I'll show you where I keep my kit. So I have this massive overflowing binder, which is where I keep all of my unassigned kits in. So I'll just go through here to try to find and pick out any summer related kits. But what I'm going to do is also sometimes I take out like anytime kits, but I think because there are so many holidays that fall in the summer. I have limited, oops, I have limited um, choosings to do for the rest of the season. So I think I'm only going to pick out summertime kits and not any time because I want to use up those summer themed kits. And as you can see, I already have a lot and I just barely started with this binder. So skipping the any times okay and then the rest of these are incomplete kits and just travel themed that didn't fit in another binder so that was all the summer themed kits and as you saw I have a couple weddings but I'm just going to pick those as we get to them um, I think I'm going to try to focus on the summer ones first and then deal with the wedding. So this one's Shark Week, which is going to be on standby because I don't know if or when Shark Week will happen this year. So I'm just going to put that in the folder because if it happens on a week that 
doesn't already have like a specific theme to it, like a wedding or like a holiday or whatever, then I'll use it. But if it is on during the same week as a wedding or holiday or whatever, then I'm not going to use it and I'll just save it for next year. So that's on standby to remind me in the like the front pocket of that binder. So then I'm just going to organize it by shop, I think, because I don't want too many from one shop. Okay, so I have four shops. I'm going to try... Um, I don't know. We'll see. So these I just purchased. So these are going to be kind of on the back burner. And I think I'm only going to use one of them. I won't use both of them this year. So I'm going to prioritize this one. So this one I'm going to put to the side. That won't get used. This one I've had for like a year and a million. Well, not actually even over a year. Probably like three. Oh, no. I got it in 2020. So two years. I'm going to use that because I've had it forever and it doesn't really fit my style anymore, but I don't want it to go to waste. So I'm going to use it. So that is going to be put in the priorities pile. And then I can probably fit one more of these. I don't know. So we'll see what else I want to prioritize and then we'll go from there. This one is like a Franken kit. So I have these two go together. These were in grab bags. And then I have a bunch of stickers from like light colored, beach color, summer themed stickers from Glam Planner that I've had forever. And so I want to try to use these. So I'm going to prioritize this Franken kit. This one I just got. So this one is going to be put to the side for now, but not tossed out because I do want to use it. And then same with this one. I've had it forever. It's a print in very old printables. I want to use it. This sticker kit from Glam Planner, if you can, I'll just quickly go through it so you can kind of get an idea for how old this kit is. You can see how big this deco is. At least though, like look at this page. This is so old, but at least for this kit, the washi is on glossy and not the old matte paper. So I guess in hindsight, it's really not that old, but I do want to prioritize using that since this kit I did recently get, but it is kind of the same theme, like the beach going theme as this one. I think I'm going to save that for next year and just prioritize that one next year. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay. And then... I'm just going to hold on to these and use them as backup if needed, but I'm going to try to fit these in as well. Okay, so let's go through. So May 30th, first week of June. Which one of these do I want to use? So this one's more of an August. This one I feel like is a later summer as well. I think I'm going to choose this one to go. In here. And what I should have done, I should have just kept the stickers instead of putting them on sleeves yet. I should have just kept them as stickers so I can just stick it onto the sleeve that's already on. But oh well, next time. So that one's first World's Oceans Day Bachelorette Party Father's Day. OK, so June is done. 4th of July. I don't have a 4th of July kit, but I kind of want to use, let's see, do I have another open week in July? I do. So I kind of want to use, because this one is more traditional red, white, blue colors than this one, but this one still has, okay, let's see. So how many days do I have free? So I have three more free days. So actually, I think I'm just going to use this one as the 4th of July kit. Because it while it doesn't have red, it has like a dark pink. So I think that'll be okay. Um, 
to use because that way I don't have to spend money on a 4th of July kit. I can just use something that I have already. So I'll use up stickers and save money, which is great. So, oh, Maggie's Wedding. This one I'm actually planning to, uh, we'll see how it goes, but design my own kit for that since I have art that I think will fit perfect for that. Another July. I think this one fits with July better. July 18th is done. Harry Potter's birthday, perfect. So August. So I have a wedding. So I'm going to pull out this Simply Gilded album, which is where I keep all of my theme kits. So there's these and they're, they're kind of like celebration wedding birthday kind of mixed together so for an august wedding i kind of like these colors even though i might have to figure something out because this it says okay, let me pull it out this sheet whoop, says happy birthday babe but everything else could be used for a wedding so i kind of want to use that one this one doesn't really scream wedding to me this one I want to use for a later wedding because there's a wedding in September that I want to use this one for. So I'm holding off. This one I am kind of want to save for like a bridal shower or something. So I'm going to keep on to that. And that's all the wedding ones. So this one it is since I don't want to spend money on another wedding album or wedding sticker kit so I'm just going to use this and then because this is all I have for the kit I'm going to have to supplement some stickers for my own collection but since these are just multiple shades of pink and like cream I have plenty of those stickers so it'll be fine and then I'll have to figure out something to do with this box okay so then August 8th I think I'm going to use this one from Erin Condren and then again, because this is only one sticker sheet, I'm going to have to supplement from my collection. But because the colors are just yellow, blue, and orange, green, it, it'll be easy to find something that matches with this. So I'm not worried. August 15th will be this Franken kit from Scribble Prints Co. and Glam Planner. And I think I have enough functional items in here that I'll do for the kit but if not again I'll just pull from my multicolor collection I'm not worried and then this week I still have plenty of time it's the last week in August which is months away from now so if I find a kit or if any of you have any suggestions for like Pacific Northwest Washington themed kits please 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 let me know in the comments down below because I want to do a themed one for that but if it gets to that week of or even after and I still haven't found a kit I'll just pull uh, from one of these or even like this one even um to use instead so maybe i'll just take this out because none of these really scream at least this one is aquatic themed so i'll just put it in there now tentatively and then if i come up with a better idea or if any of you have a suggestion please let me know down in the comments and i'll get that and trade it out but if not i'll use this for this week so that is everything for my kit lineup. Oh, and this again, if I need to, I'll pull this in as well. So that is everything. Please let me know if you guys do something similar down in the comments below. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you have a good day. Bye-bye.